Greg Adams here and today I'm going to teach you how to shoot Magic Lantern RAW with your Canon 6D and it's pretty easy once you have Magic Lantern on your card and if you need a tutorial to figure out how to do that um, here's a link right here but um, so first off we're going to go into the Magic Lantern uh, menu and we need to load the module for Magic Lantern RAW so go all the way down to RAW record turn that on and we actually need to turn our camera off give it a second then turn our camera on for it to load that module. And uh, next we're gonna go over, you can see it's on now. We can go over to movie and then turn this on. So by pressing Q, we can go into the menu and change the resolution and the aspect ratio. Um, but once you have that on, you'll see the white box and you're ready to start rolling. So all you have to do is just press start to record raw. So dumb. And uh, that's it. So it'll stop. Sometimes you'll get a skip and it'll automatically stop. You just need to play with um, the card that you're using and um, see what's best from there. I'm using a SanDisk 95 megabit per second card and um, I'm getting pretty good results. Um, with SD, you're not going to get as fast and uh, high quality as you will with uh, CF cards, but this works for what I'm doing with the 6D. So next, you just turn off your camera. Take the SD card out and go to your computer. So once we take our SD card and put it into our computer, we're going to go into the DCIM um, section of the SD card and we're going to pull out this one Magic Lantern RAW file. Um, once we do that, we're going to make sure that we have RAW Magic Light downloaded. There's a link in the description. Um, so we're going to open that up and drag this file in. Um, and then just convert it. It's an auto detect. It can sense pretty much what it is, choose where you want to dump that folder. And what it's doing is making D cinema DNG files. So it's actually pretty quick. And um, once we have that done, we're just going to go in and double check. It made a couple, you know, just 100 to 200 photos. And you can see it go frame by frame as we um, go through through the files. So um, I do my Magic Lantern RAW um, processing and editing in DaVinci Resolve um, 11 Lite in my case, which also is free. And uh, there's a link in the description as well. Um, DaVinci is pretty good. It's, it's really a, a color correcting standard and it's growing into a pretty powerful, just standard editing platform. Um, you should definitely check it out. It's by Black Magic Design. And uh, yeah, it, it actually handles uh, Magic Lantern RAW files pretty well. So we're just going to sign into a new project and uh, we're just going to go through and find where um, our desktop is and where that file is. And it actually shows up within the folder as a uh, video. So we're just going to drag it down to the media pool, allow it to change its frame rate as it wants to and then select the edit section. We're going to create a new timeline. Select the media pool so you can see what files we put into that little thing there. Drag this down to the timeline. And then, you know, that's our file within the timeline. That's all good to go. So um, we're going to go to the color. So this is where we're actually gonna process the file. So within this section over here for the camera raw, uh, we're going to change this to just the clip. So if you had a bunch of different ones, you could just do all of them at once, but by selecting clip, you're doing just the one that's selected. Um, here you can change the white balance to whatever you want, but I'm just gonna keep it how it is right now. Um, so one thing that I like to do is you can just leave it rec seven and it automatically kind of crush and uh, process to a standard you know, area to work from, but I actually, like to change the color space to this flat um, profile. Hit highlight recovery and select this um, Hunter's LUT, which is also in the description. And he also has a pretty good um, uh, video tutorial explaining how to install this. Um, pretty much you just have to put it into the LUT section of your DaVinci Resolve folder area. Um, so check out his tutorial if you want to install this, but this is what I've found is pretty good to um, work with that uh, flat, you know, starting point. 
um, from there, you know, I'll, I'll do my correcting as much as I need to. Um, and, uh, you definitely want to, it, it takes a little more skill to, uh, expose your image, um, with magic lantern in camera for the edit. So you kind of have to just get used to that. So once you fix your image and however you want, you can go over to deliver and, uh, make sure that you, um, select somewhere for it to go and make sure all of this is good. You know, you want pretty much ProRes files, pretty probably what you're going to want to get um, so that it's a nice and nice usable file for Magic Lan or for uh, Final Cut or whatever you're using. And then you can hit the start render and then render that out. And then you'll have that file on your desktop and you're good to go. So thank you for watching. Um, if you have any comments or questions about how um, I shoot Magic Lantern Raw or anything else in general about filmmaking, please let me know. But until then, thank you for watching. Bye.